Hey guys, Ryan here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install mods using the new launcher, uh, which started in Minecraft 1.6. So the first thing you want to do is just open up your launcher, and uh, what you want to do is make sure you have the version you want to mod installed. So if you want to mod for 1.6.2, then you can just go ahead and close on your launcher. Uh, but for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to mod from 1.5.2, as there's not a lot of mods out updated for 1.6 yet. So you just want to edit your profile, and whatever version you want to mod, you can just go and click that. So I'm going to hit release 1.5.2, save profile, and uh, you can go ahead and click play. Okay. Now, once it's open, you can just close it. You just need it to download the file. So when you go to your versions, you'll see it there. If you want, you can just set it back. Uh, it's not really important. You can set it back to your latest version. Great. We can call it, go ahead and close the launcher, and open up your start menu. You want to type in run, hit enter. And when the little box comes up, you want to type in percent app data percent. Go ahead and hit enter again. Now, when the Romy folder comes up, you want to click the very first folder called .minecraft and go down to the versions. As you can see, since I installed 1.5.2, I have that here as well as 1.6.2, which I had installed earlier. What you want to do is whatever folder you decide to mod, you want to right click, copy, and then just paste. Because uh, we need a copy of the folder we want. Now, name this whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to call it modded. Why not? And uh, double click on the folder. And you need to rename these both the same thing. So it doesn't matter what you call it. You can call it uh, Minecraft 1.5.2 modded. You can call it you know ABC. It does not matter. As long as whatever you call this folder, you make these the same thing. Now, there's going to be a JSON file. This is the second one, below the jar file. You need to right click on that, hit open with, and you can choose whatever program you want, but WordPad, Notepad, you know, text, whatever, but I prefer WordPad. Now when you open that up, you're gonna see that on the very first line, it says ID 1.5.2. Inside the quotation marks, you need to change this to whatever you call the folder. So since I called it modded, I'm gonna put modded in here. If you call the folder ABC and change those two files to ABC, then you want to put ABC in here. Hopefully that makes sense, um, but as soon as you get it fixed, go ahead and hit File Save. Now if you can't figure out what I'm doing, just do the same thing I do and you'll be fine. Now once we have this all set, um, we can go ahead and right click, open with WinRAR or 7-Zip, uh, I prefer WinRAR though, and uh, when I ask you to pay, say hell no because we do not pay for WinRAR. <laughs> anyway, now you're going to install mods the way you normally do, uh, so whatever folder you want to, I mean whatever mod file you get, uh, over here I have Optifine for 1.5.2, which I'll show you for this video. You do the same thing you normally do. So you just drag all the files over into the directory. Go ahead and delete meta-inf. It's a folder called meta-inf. You can go ahead and close everything now since we're all set. If you want to keep this open in case you make a mistake, you can just go ahead and add more mods or whatever. And uh, once we're all set with that, we can go ahead and open up our Minecraft launcher again. Now, this is part where it's a little bit harder, but um, once you get used to it, it's pretty simple. You want to go ahead and create a new profile, and I'm going to call this 1.5.2 modded, just because uh, I can keep track of all my different mo uh, profiles. If I had a 1.6.2 modded, I'd probably do that as well, so I can just keep track of it. Now, what you want to do is click the box that says Game Directory. Just go ahead and leave a check mark there. And where it says use version, you want to find your version that you created. So you see it says release modded. That's the one we called it. Whatever you called it, it'll be right there. And here you can change uh, your resolution. You can change the amount of RAM. So actually, I'm just going to change it to 2 because I have a lot of RAM. Might as well allocate more RAM for this. You don't have to do that, so don't worry about changing that anything here. Um, but if you feel like you can mess around with some settings here, feel free to do so. When you're all set, go ahead and click Save Profile. And... When we have our profile selection, choose the one you just created. I have to log in real quick because it just changed. Oh, I think I messed up on the password. Sorry, guys. And I messed up again. Great. Go ahead and click play when you're all set to go. And if you did it right, you won't get a black screen. Uh, you'll be in whatever mode you did. And here we can go to our world. And you can see when it's done downloading terrain, Optifine loads up and uh, we have our mods installed. So whatever mods you have installed should load up if you do everything correctly. 
Uh, hopefully this helps you guys out a ton, because I know I had a really hard time figuring out how to install mods for this, as it wasn't working the way it normally used to. Um, so if this did help out, maybe leave a like, maybe consider subscribing for more videos. Uh, I know I have a lot of cool content coming in the near future, so stay tuned, and thanks guys for watching.